Jeremy S. Cook here, and today I'll be going over some of the finer details of controlling an, a servo motor with an Arduino. As you can see here in Arduino Uno, you just can't plug the servo motor into it. So that's the first problem that we'll address here. The second problem is that they, they require quite a bit of power when you're powering them. So we'll, we'll address that later with the servo. And then finally, I'll uh, talk about a technique for turning the servos off so you can save power. So the first, uh, first thing to do is get one of these female connectors for your servo. I got this double connector from another project. It was initially meant to, to multiply the signals from one servo to two. Worked pretty well for that, but also works pretty well if you need a couple female connectors, or just one in this case. Clip that all back with my wire clippers or my strippers, and then did it on the other side too. I really love how these work. You just put the wire in and then clip it. You just don't have to really worry about how far you're cutting into the insulation like you do with other tools. So I'm just hooking up the capacitor there. Got to hook up the negative with the white stripe to the to the black line and then the positive to the red line. And then that's the control line. The white's the control line there. Use heat shrink for everything to keep the electricity isolated. Don't want that shorting to each other. And of course, the you don't want it shorting on the control wire either. Now right here, you see it's white, but some of the other ones are yellow. You'll see that in just a little bit. On the outside of this, I put in some heat shrink. Use heat shrink on so many of my projects. I just really, really love this stuff. In fact, if it was like a agricultural product, I could probably be sponsored by them. Like you see like milk. Yeah, this, this, this video is sponsored by Hot Glue and Heat Shrink. But unfortunately, they don't grow this anywhere as far as I know. Clip this off with my clippers. I have three of these as well, so I'm a real big fan of these. Bought that off eBay for like $2. Clip that off and everything's nicely connected together. And you've got three lines that just go straight into the Arduino. 5 volt power, ground, and the white signal. There's the power. And the capacitor is used to kind of even out the, the, the pulses that that you need for the servos. You know, when they're starting up, they get just, just need quite a bit of power, so that keeps it from just having a big, big current draw to begin with. So there it is, hooking it up. Goes back and forth. It's just one of the little SG90 micro servos. One thing you'll notice here that's annoyed me for quite some time is that when a servo goes to its correct position, it loops around a little bit, it jitters back and forth just to make sure it's exactly in the right position. Never quite gets there. I'll show how to cut it off using just code in just a second. Here's another illustration of how it goes back and forth and just you know, never quite gets there. You can hear it jittering between the times it's actually traversing from one position to, no, to another. Obviously, there's some resulting power loss from that. So if you don't want that, you need to detach your servos. Generally, you attach the servos in the setup routine at the beginning of your code. But here, I'm attaching it in a function toward the bottom, the, the void the void servo function. Now, you can name it anything you want, but that's, that's how I'm doing it. You just attach it in the function, do your do routine, and then detach it. I found this doesn't seem to work in the loop itself, so I think that's kind of the trick. You can hear there, there's no sort of jittering between the, the functions. It just cuts off nicely and in theory, no extra power is wasted. Yeah, pr pretty, pretty neat. And there is the connector there, just the female connector, unplug it as you need to. And you can plug in a big, big servo or a standard size servo. Looking pretty good. Just remember here, the black is still ground, red is five volts, and the yellow is the pulse width modulation signal from the Arduino. And of course, I couldn't resist actually testing this out and seeing just how much current I was using. Here, I'm using a setup without the capacitor itself. So the, the current maxes out at, a, at just under 0.1 amp or about 100 milliamps. That's using the SG90 servo, so the small one. The large one is about 50% more, more power. I expected more, to be honest. Note here that I've got my multimeter set up to record the maximum current coming out of it. And that's just for the servo itself, not for any of the other 
Arduino functions. From there, I switched the multimeter to uh, a just the instantaneous reading, and it, it goes down quite a bit as as the servos attached and detached or in use or not in use. So let's take a look at this with the capacitor on there. The current varies, but the maximum I recorded here is about 100 milliamps, so about the same as a the micro servo without the capacitor on it. Note here that I'm using a 2200 microfarad capacitor, and this is obviously going to vary a lot depending on multiple factors. The right way to do this, of course, is to hook up the servo's power supply to an independent line, but overall, for an easy way to do it, I think this is a pretty pretty good way. I, at least it's worked out pretty well for me. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy S. Cook, signing off. Now enjoy the heatsink music.